Hi there, it's Alan from Hyperstream. Okay, so one of the questions that I've had recently was uh, how can I schedule a tweet? Uh, you know, I've got automating tweets is a really good way of saving a lot of time on Twitter. If you want to, you know, it's a good way of, you can set up a lot of tweets ahead of time. And say, look, you want to send out a birthday message or, you know, a Christmas message or an Easter message if you're a business, then, you know, it's definitely a good way of... Uh, of being able to do that. So I'm going to show you a couple of tools which you can use to do this. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is IFTTT. Now this actually does a lot more than just sending out tweets but you can uh, you can use it for a lot more than that. But I'm just going to show you how you can do this if you want to send out a scheduled tweet. Uh, so what we do, we create a recipe. So once you've created an account you can go on to uh, create a recipe so what, the way IFTTT works is it means if this, then that. So that's what it means. So we're going to say if this, and then we're going to choose the date and time uh, trigger channel. And we're going to say, okay, I want to send out this particular tweet once every week. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to send out a weekly tweet. And let's say I want to send out one just on Friday. And I'll say I want to send that at a particular time. So I'll choose okay 6 p.m. end of the day on Friday. So I'm going to create a trigger, and then we do click on that, and then we're going to send out a tweet. So we need to go down to our Twitter channel. So click on Twitter, and then we're going to want to post a tweet. So there's a number of options you can do with Twitter, but we just want to post a tweet. So click on that option there. <clears throat> and then this is where we get to put in our information. So I'm just going to remove this stuff here. This, uh, by the way, these little brackety things, what this means is um, you can add stuff into this like um, the day of the week. So it'll automatically put what day of the week it is there or say what time it is. So I don't want any of that stuff. So I'm just going to put here, uh, yay. Well, how about a yay? Yay? Yahoo. There we go. Wish I could spell. It's Friday. Have a great uh, weekend, everyone. So that's my uh, my tweet, and I'm going to put a a little hashtag there. For follow Friday. If you don't know what follow Friday is, I'll explain what that is in another video. So I'm going to create an action, and then what that's done, that's now uh, almost set up. I just need to confirm this. So this is where I give this a description just for myself. This doesn't go out, but so I'm just going to say this, uh, I'm going to leave that as it is, and click on create recipe. So now I've set that up. So every, every Friday at 6 p.m., I will send out that message to everyone in my whoever's following me so they'll see that message. So it's just a neat little way of setting up uh, uh, regular tweets. Let's say you want to do one every single year, um, you know, that's quite handy to do that. So you can do it that way. There are other tools which I'll just show you now. Uh, there's one called uh, TweetDeck. I think TweetDeck allows you to do this. So if you head on over to tweetdeck.twitter.com and then just sign in with your username and password. Uh, if you haven't got an account, uh, obviously register for one. Uh, now I can't remember my password. There we are. Okay, so once you're logged in, you'll get a, a view like this. And if you haven't seen TweetDeck before, then it's quite overwhelming. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not, I'll might do another video if. You guys want that but you know there's a lot of other videos out there about tweet deck but I just want to show you how to schedule a tweet so once you get set up uh, you need to go over to where is it just one second yeah so go over to uh, compose a tweet or new tweet and then it'll open this little tweet window and then you just type in the, the your, your little tweet that you want to put there so I'll say hello hello world and then what you can do, add an image or whatever you want to do, and then you can schedule the tweet down here. So let's say, okay, I want, to, I want this one to go out uh, on my birthday. So actually I'll change this to happy birthday.
wish myself a happy birthday. How sad is that? Uh, yeah, there we go. And I'll say, hope you're having a nice day. So, you could do th silly things like this. Wish yourself a happy birthday if you've got no friends. So, um, schedule a retreat. Yep, I've said 20th of November. And then you can choose a time, obviously. And then that's it. So, I've already scheduled my one there. And it's ready to go out. And then, um, what do we do? Hit enter. There we go. Yeah, hit the uh, that button there. And then it will be scheduled for uh, the, that particular day. So there we are. So it says in your schedule column uh, where that is. So that's a quick way of uh, scheduling tweets as well. Um, a nice way. I think the other, I'm not sure if you can do regular, uh, I don't think you can schedule regular um, repeat tweets uh, using TweetDeck. If I'm wrong, I'd like to, to know about that. But you know, I use um, IFTTT for that. So there's two ways of scheduling tweets. You can use TweetDeck or the other the other one. So I hope that's helped. Um, I know there are other tools out there. You've got things like Hootsuite. I'm not going to go through that, but um, if you just do a search on Google uh, for s scheduling tweets, there's a bunch of other ones that allow you to do this kind of stuff. But those two, uh, for me, work fine. And you know, if you are now free, which is even better. So uh, those are two little tools you can use to schedule tweets. Hope that's helped. Take care. Until next time. Bye-bye.